In this demo, we'll see how OpenShift handles uh, auto scaling. Um, OpenShift has an auto scaling mechanism built in uh, when you create an application as a scalable application. And uh, it, by default, it scales based on number of concurrent connections that are hitting a particular container or gear in OpenShift terms. So let's look at uh, uh, how OpenShift scales by uh, by an example. So I'll create an application that as a scalable application on OpenShift and uh, we'll pump in some load onto that application and see how it scales. Now, before we create an application, I wanted to quickly show you that I have two different nodes uh, just to show that uh, the scaling actually happens across multiple nodes when you have multiple nodes so that if one of the node goes down, the application still runs. So the scalable application not only scales up, it also provides some level of uh, high, high availability in OpenShift. So uh, I'll, I'll show you two nodes here. Uh, there is a node 11 and node 12. These two are configured as medium sized nodes. And I am in this var lib OpenShift directory. And currently you'll see that this is empty. And on, on both the nodes, node 11 and node 12, the reason I'm showing this uh, directory via lib OpenShift is because this is where the containers are created. These are, this is where the gears are created. And in OpenShift, when you create an application and a gear spins up, the gear gets a, a unique uh, user ID, a unique Linux user ID. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, uh, having said that, let's uh, create an application now. Um, I'll create an application using uh, a scale application. I'm copying the code from a, a cool scaled application demo that uh, that's available on GitHub. And all I'm doing here is I'm issuing a command to create an app, rhc app create. I'm naming the application as scale app. And I'm using two cartridges jboss eap which is the application server and a mongodb cartridge and this minus s flag indicates that i'm creating a scalable application i'm saying i want to create it from the code um, and i'm copying the code from github and uh, the last parameter here is i'm choosing a medium sized node uh, just just for the sake of uh, uh, to make sure that there is enough capacity for this jboss eap app to run I'm choosing a medium size now. So now when I issue this command, open sh uh, this uh, command goes to OpenShift and it starts uh, creating the application. It takes a couple of minutes at this point of time because it's copying the code from GitHub. So it depends on the connection speed between GitHub and uh, the OpenShift node. I'm going to pause this demo for a little while and uh, once the application is created, we'll come back and have a look at it. As you can see, the application just got created and uh, the MongoDB also got added. And it, it's asking me to give permission to copy this application onto my local machine, which I did. Now I should find this application Read onto my local machine. So you can see the scale application here. Now let me show you a couple of additional things here. On the OpenShift web console, if I look at the list of applications, now there is a scale app. And the scale app is using two gears now. Uh, the reason is uh, when you create a scale application, the database gets its own gear. It's running it in its own medium sized gear. And the application server is also running in its own separate medium sized gear. So there are two gears that are used and uh, the the JWAS EAP gear can, it can scale now from anywhere between one through 100, where 100 is the, 100 is the uh, account limits I have. 
you can also see that there is a uh, web load balancer that front ends this application. It's a HA proxy. And uh, we can also look at the HA proxy status page that shows us that. So this is the HA proxy status, status gear, which shows that there is a single local gear where this application is running along with the HA proxy. Now let's look at where these uh, gears got created, the two containers, right? So we had two nodes, node 11 and node 12. At this point, there is no, nothing that is happening with the application. The application just got created. So let's look at the var lib openshift folder on node 11. It has nothing in it. And let's look at var lib openshift folder on node 12. And it has two gears. So one of these is that gear that runs a HA proxy and uh, the application core. And the other one is the one that runs MongoDB. Now let me start adding some load to this application. I'll be using uh, Apache benchmarking tool, ab, and I'm just choosing a, a couple of places from where I'm going to run this. So, also run it from here. I'm starting it at two places. And we'll also bring up this application in the browser. So you'll see this this application is the front end is cool. It counts the number of gates or containers that are associated with this application. And uh, uh, you will see that uh, as the gears are getting added, the it it will show up here on this front end. So and and these orange boxes that you're seeing here is the load that this application is getting. Now, at the same time, I'll also uh, SSH onto this gear and show you what's happening behind the scenes. I'll use RHC SSH command to get into this gear. Now I'm I'm inside the gear. This is the this is the gear where the HA proxy and the application is running the single gear. Now let me tail the HA proxy logs. Once the load reaches a point where a single gear cannot handle the load anymore, you will see that uh, it will request for additional gears to be created. This will take some time. I will run this a little fast now. As you can see now, a request for new gear came up. And uh, this means that one gear is not able to handle uh, the, the workload and uh, the number of concurrent connections are more than what a single gear can handle. So HA proxy has sent out this add gear request to uh, the broker. And the broker will now provision an additional gear let me speed up again. See that the new gear is now added successfully. And this add gear request has exited with code zero, which means that the gear was added successfully by the broker. Now you'll also see that on the on the application's front end, uh, this application shows that a new gear got added and the load is being now taken by both the gears that are available. So now HA proxy, which is front ending these two gears, is distributing the uh, load among these two gears. Now looking at the HA proxy status page, now you'll also find an additional gear 
and that additional gear is now added it's ending with uh, 008a and uh, this is not a local gear the local gear was a first gear and now let's go and see where this got created so you'll see that uh, on node 12 it still has only two gears and on node 11 there is a new gear that is added and there is 008a so this is the new gear that got added now as the application scales the gates get evenly distributed across all the available nodes which means that even if one of the nodes goes down the application continues to run so that's the kind of high availability that comes along with the auto scaling by default for full ha you can have multiple ha proxies front-ended by an external load balancer